solve a simple trace problem from lead code. You can find the link in description. So I highly recommend you to pause the video, go through the problem statement thoroughly, think of an approach. So I'll just quickly walk through the problem statement. You are given roots of t, two binary trees, p and q. You just need to decide whether those are same or not. Right. So let me draw an example here. Uh, one, two, three, 20, 40, and 90. One more tree over here. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, and 97. Let's name it as tree A and this is tree B. Are these two same? Are these two same? Yes or no? No. Why no? Because you can clearly see that the data is not matching it. So this is 90 but this is 97. So that is the reason why you are saying it is not a same tree. So let me change this to something like 90 and I will add one more node over here. Uh, maybe 97 here. Now can I call them same trees? Still no. Why? Because even if this data is present over here, but the structure is not same, you have an additional node over here. So clearly we can say these two are not same trees. What if I remove this? Now, yes, you can call them same trees. So you are considering two factors, right? One is you are checking the data. That should be same at corresponding nodes. What else? And the structure. These are the two factors that are that you are considering to check if two trees are same trees. Right. Now you are given roots of these two trees. So let's uh, call it as R1 and this is R2. Now, you have only access to roots of two trees. What will you do? We'll start with the roots itself. So you are going to compare these two. Are these two same? Right, these two are same. Can I directly call them same trees? No, you can't call them same trees. Why? You still have to check left subtree of A and left subtree of B. You need to compare these two. If these two are same, can I call them same trees? Still no. Why? Because you need to also compare right subtree of tree A and right subtree of tree B. If all these three are true, then only you can call it as a same tree. So let me write it down over here. You are comparing root. What else? Left subtree. What is right subtree? So, if all these three are same, if all these three tell you true, then you will say the entire tree is a same tree. Alright. Now, I hope the basic approach is clear for you. We will see it in more details now. Uh, you compared this with this. These are same. You will go to the next step, which is the left part of it and the left part of the tree B. Now, even this subtree is a tree, right? Even if, even this subtree is a tree. Now, what will you do? You will repeat the process. You will compare this two with this two. Are this two matching? Those two are matching. Now, what is the next step that you will do? You will do or you will compare this left subtree with this left subtree. Again matching. You are done with this part. So what will you do now? For two, you are done with left subtree. You need to compare right subtrees now. These two are matching. So can I say this entire part is same? I can call it. 
Now what will you do? For one, you will go to the right subtree of it. So the right subtree is this. In this, initially you will check whether this 3 and 3 are matching or not. These are same. So what will you do? For this part, you will check the left side of it. It is matching with left side of tree B. Now, you will try to check on the right side of it. Nothing is there. Same happened for tree B. So, can I call these two same now? Same. So, are we done with all the properties? We are done with checking left subtree. We are done with checking right subtree. And we are also done with checking root. All these three are valid. So, I can call them same trees. I hope this is clear. So, let us try to convert this into a code. So, let us write a pseudocode now. For that, let us take a function. Uh, maybe I will name it as same tree. Okay. We will have few parameters over here. So, what should be the return type of this? Exactly, it is boolean. And here we will have few pa parameters. Right? Uh, you are given root of tree A and root of tree B. Now, we will see step by step. Initially, you are comparing root data. right? How will you do that? So, it is just a simple condition. You will check if A value is not matching with B value. If this is the case, what will you do? Immediately return false. So, we will return false. If not, what will we do? We have a responsibility to take care of left subtree and right subtree. Which function will help you do that? Same tree function will help you do that, right? This is where recursion comes to re rescue. So, uh, we will call same tree function and you want to do it for left subtree. So, what should I write here? So, your parameters will be A left and B left. The similar thing will happen for right subtree. So here you will pass A right and B right. So which operator should I use between these two? If you look back to the explanation part, you will consider root, left subtree and right subtree. So here you are going to combine them with and operator. And you are going to return it. So let me move this a little so that we will follow indentation properly. Right. Do we need to check anything else or are we done with this? We are done with checking the value of comparison but what about the second point of it, structure? How will we do that? So for that I need to change the example a little bit, maybe 97 over here. So here for 3, you will compare the right subtree of it. It is not null, but what about the B tree? It is null. In this case, what should I do? I have to immediately return false back. So let's write it in a condition form. You are checking if A is null, then B should also be null in order to be same trees. So you will check return B equals to null. In the same way, what else? We also need to check if B is null, return A equals to null. What is the meaning of it? So here we are checking if B is null, a is also null or not. If this is true, you will return true. If not, you will return false. A simple condition, right? Instead of writing in if else, a single line statement. Right. So, if this is clear, we will try to code it up now. So, before you go through the video, 
I again ask you to pause it. Try to write it on your own. If you get any mistake, use some debug statements and try to uh, avoid the mistakes. Okay. So here, what are the conditions that we discussed initially? We are checking. If your P is null, whether your Q is null or not. What else? In the same way for Q, you are checking it. If Q is null, you are checking if P is null or not. We are done with checking the structure. What is the next step? Checking the values. How will you do that? If P value is not matching with Q value, you have to return false. If your code doesn't enter into any of these things, what will you do? You have to check the left subtree and right subtree. So we'll write or we'll call same tree function again. But what will you pass now? P left and Q left. In the same way, we'll do it for right subtree. So you have to pass P right and Q right. We are done with it. So let me just go through the code bits. So here what are we checking? We are initially comparing whether the values are same or not. If not, you are returning false. If the values are same, what will you do? You need to check for the left subtree, which will be done with the help of each same tree function. Okay. In the same way, you will do it for right subtree. What is the other condition that we need to check? The structure part. If P is null, you are checking whether Q is null or not. In the same way, if Q is null, you are checking whether P is null or not. Now we will try to solve a problem which is very similar to the previous question. Okay. So you need to pause the video, try it out on your own. If you look at the question, it is asking us, you are given root of a binary tree and you need to decide whether it is a symmetric tree or not. But what is a symmetric tree? In order to understand that, I gave you two examples over here. So this is tree 1 and this is tree 2. Okay. We will focus on the tree 1 for now. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, decide whether it is a symmetric tree or not. So in a symmetric tree, it's uh, simply placing a mirror between left and right subtree. Now tell me, is the left subtree a mirror image of Right subtree? Yes. So can I call it a symmetric tree? Absolutely. I can call it a symmetric tree. In the same way, if we see second tree, is the left subtree a mirror image of right subtree? No, it is not a mirror image. Uh, you all know what's a mirror image, right? So if you look at the first one, if you take this part, for 2, the left subtree will be the right subtree of this 2. And the right subtree of this 2 is a left subtree of this 2. But if you look at the second tree, if you take this part and this part, this 3 is on the right side of this 2. But what about this 3? Is it on the right side or left side? Again, it is also on the right side, which is not a mirror image. So we'll say it is not a symmetric tree. All right. So in order to make the implementation part easier, we'll try to consider these two as separate trees. Okay. I'll try to separate it out now. Let's try to relate it to the previous question. In the previous question, we are given two trees, right? A and B. We are given two trees A and B. They asked us to find if they are same trees. What did we do then? 
we simply compared the root of it. If the root is same, then we did the same for the left subtree of both the trees and right subtree of both the trees. Based on it, we decided if A and B are same trees. Now, what is the difference between the previous question and current question? Here, we will compare the root. Root is same. Then what should we do? We need to check if this left, left subtree is a mirror image of this right subtree. This right subtree is a mirror image of this left subtree. Based on it, we will be able to decide whether it is a symmetric tree or not. Pretty simple, right? So, pause the video here. Try to code it. So, we are given a function called asymmetric. In this, in this function, what did we decide? We try, we decided to separate out A and B, right? We wanted to treat them as a separate tree. So, what I'll do is, I'll take one more, one more function, mirror, and I'll pass root left and root right to it. Okay? Whatever this mirror function returns, I'll just return it. So, it's of type boolean. Uh, tree node let's name it as some a and tree node let's name it as something like b okay all right now what will we do here very similar to the previous one. Right? First of all, we need to check if the data is matching or not. So, if your A value is not matching with B value, what will you do? You will immediately return false. If not, which function will we use to check the mirror image? Mirror function, right? So, you will use the mirror function and you will pass uh, A left and what should we pass b left or b right exactly b right and mirror function with a right and b left right so we need to return it did we miss any conditions we need to check if the structure is same or not, right? So, how will we do that? If A is null, you will uh, check for B, if B is null or not. In the same way, if your B is null, you will check for A. That's it. We are done with it, right? So, if you look at the code, isn't it very similar to the previous one? Very, very similar, right? All the conditions are same. The only difference is you are checking if left subtree is a mirror image of right subtree. So, let's try to run it. We are done with it. Done. It got accepted. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.